Hi Greedy 3Ds, the wonderful guys at Elegoo have sent me some lovely resins and a resin detergent to test for you guys. So without further ado, let's test it. So we've got a few resins to play with and to choose from here. We're going to start off with the basic, but we've also got some of this water washable. And we've got some ABS-like, their version 3. But again, we're going to start off with the standard resin and have a play with that and use some of the resin detergent as well. So here is the standard resin. This is the grey one kilogram. And we're going to pop that into my GK2. Runs fairly well. It's not got a particularly strong odour, no stronger than any other resin, I would say pretty much a par with everything else. It's um, got a thicker consistency. It's not like milk, which is good. I'm going to be using the frozen XP test. And for the setting for the first time round, I'm going to go a 1.5 second exposure with a 30 second bottom layer and 10 seconds. And here is said result after about 15 minutes of printing. It seems to have printed OK. It's come off the uh, bill plate OK. No problem. I'm going to clean it in the detergent, give it a little bit of wipe over. We'll come back to that detergent in a little bit because I want to go into a bit more detail about the detergent but uh, let's just get this XP test cleaned off for now and once it's been cleaned off I'm going to use my Hay Gears Ultra Craft uh, curing station to give it a cure and this is it using my BenQ camera which is a macro lens you can see that it's underexposed some of the words haven't come out properly uh, you can see they're in envisioned it's failed a little bit so we're going to up it a tad to 1.7 seconds this was the second one and there you go that's much better I'm happy with the 1.7 the center part looks a lot better as well it wasn't completely formed in the 1.5 Five seconds I'm gonna run with 1.7 seconds on this resin and here we go here's the first load through again on the GK2 by Uniformation it's printed absolutely fine can't see any problems with that at all there's the base for the starlight from the boys by Couton Sculpts and all is well so let's do something a little bit more detailed let's do starlight's main body hands and face as i say this is from couton sculpts uh, i'll send a link in the description so we've added all the supports we've hollowed it out it's going to be printing in a 1.7 exposure times and i'm going to be cleaning it with this Elegoo photopolymer resin detergent. Now there's some benefits to using this over IPA. Firstly, and a big one for a lot of people, it's non-flammable. And this works by dissolving and removing uncured resin, which saves you a little bit of time in the plan of it. Now I'm told by Elegoo that there is no skin irritation. And to elaborate on that, they've said that this detergent has a pH value of 6.2. So there's no irritation or adverse reactions on the skin. It's non-toxic and it ensures safe use. Now, that's going to be down to, uh, I would suggest... I guess from a safety perspective that you wear some gloves just to try it because some people are sensitive to some things but let's just see how we get on but I would wear gloves and they've also said that it is low odour and I've got to be honest just pouring it into the little vat here that I'm going to use to clean I can't really smell anything at all it's got a very very slight chemical odour but nothing at all compared to IPA or other cleaning agents that I have used so as it stands at the moment, it seems to be holding up to what they're saying. Uh, so we'll give it a try. We need to try it in anger and play with it to see how we get on. But I'm going to use it in this little pot here and we will see. I'm just going to stick my head a little bit closer to it and have a sniff. Yep, no real smell of any note. So the second load is printed and printed absolutely fine. So I've got the head and the body and the hands and they're in this tube of the resin detergent. They're in this tub of it here and I'm going to do like an ultra craft wash station manually I'm just going to waggle it about shake it around swill it around get that detergent all over the model to try to make sure that I'm giving it a really really good clean and getting it in all the nooks and crannies and don't forget it's hollow so I want to try and fill it up and empty it and fill it up and empty it to get the resin out from the inside too and once I've kind of give it a good old waggle around and you can see that the solution has changed a little bit of grey so it's definitely cleaning some 
something off. I'm getting a fairly soft toothbrush. I don't want anything too hard really that would damage the surface of the print. And I'm just going to agitate the front of the print and underneath and rounding the hair. I just want to move any resin that's sitting on the top there off. Again, it's not cured, so I don't think this is going to be soft at all. I don't think I'm going to damage it with a toothbrush at all, but I am just being a little bit uh, careful and I'm using a soft toothbrush just to give it a clean and an agitate to get any of that last remaining uh, resin off it. And when it's had a rub all over with the toothbrush, I'm just going to give it one final waggle before we finished. Now it's had a really good clean in there. I mean, I've shook it for around about three or four minutes at least. Give it a rub and then give it a couple of minutes more shaking. And I'm just going to empty out the solution from the hollowed pieces. Um, what I suggest we do as well is just fill them up again, give it a little bit of a waggle and empty it out and uh, make sure you get all the solution out of there. You can see what I'm doing there, just making sure I agitate the inside a little bit more. I think I don't need to do this. I'm just probably being a bit over precautious and then I'm going to pop it onto some kitchen roll to dry. I'm just leaving it with the uh, holes facing downwards to dry and I'm going to leave it there a little bit until it dries and get some other kitchen roll on top of it and just give it a wipe all over just to help with the drying process before I move on to the curing process. Now this isn't going to be like IP8 it's not going to evaporate or it certainly didn't seem to do that at all. So I'm just going to use a little bit of kitchen roll to clean it over just gently soak it, uh, wrap it in kitchen roll and uh, get it to dry that way giving it a good old uh, dry with that. I'm also Maybe going to use a hairdryer on it or just leave it out into the fresh air. I want it to drain thoroughly before I get to the curing station. And a quick inspection of the piece and there we go. Look at that. That really has printed lovely. It's soft. It's smooth. It's still wet. So don't think that it's slimy because it's not actually slimy. It's just wet. And some of the supports are still in situ that are going to need to be uh, got off. But... Just look at the detail in that. That's a 1.7 second exposure time of the basic Elegoo uh, standard resin there. And wow, looks absolutely wonderful, doesn't it? The details are all there, just as you'd expect them to be. Again, it's wet, it's damp, just needs to dry out a little bit. And that's what I'm going to do now is just let it dry out a little bit, get the hairdryer on it, and then we'll cure it. So post curing in my Haggis curing station here is Starlight from the Boys by Kuton Sculpts. And look at the detail in that absolutely wonderful can't complain at all about it now there's no post process work being done here this is literally off the bill plate giving it a clean in the detergent curing it and then showing you guys so yes there's probably a little bit of clean up to do on it there's a little bit of sanding here and there there's a little bit of tidying up but from an overall 3d print i am very very pleased with this elegant resin the detail is smooth and clear no issues no concerns at all. Now moving on to their ABS light, this is the version 3 resin and I'm going to pop this also into the GK2. Similar viscosity I feel here to the normal resin and again the smell wise I can't really notice anything any different to any other resin that I've ever used. They all have a little bit of an odour. Uh, going to Chitu Box and doing the frozen test, a little bit of a change here. We're going to do five bottom layers. We're going to do an exposure time of 2.5 seconds and a 30 second bottom exposure. I've done the uh, lift uh, rest time to one second and the lifting distance to eight. These are the recommended settings that I've found on the Elegoo website. So let's give this one a blast and see what it looks like. And about 15 minutes later, success. It comes off the build plate easily via the medium of a spatula. And I can see with the naked eye that the quality of this is lovely. We're going to get a clean in the resin detergent as before. Uh, I've got high hopes for this ABS-like resin. And I can't wait to have a look at it under my BenQ uh, camera. And yeah, just as I thought, this is a lovely, lovely material. And the settings, I'm happy with two and a half seconds on that. I'm happy with everything that I've done in the previous settings. I'm, I'm okay. That's good. So we're going to test this resin out then. We're going to use another sculpt here from Couton Sculpts. This is the Warrior Nun Sculpt. A, quite a complicated little build. Uh, I've used auto supports on GK2. 2.5 second exposure time. Let's see how this one comes out. And a few hours later, uh, there it is. All done. Wow, looks amazing. It's all printed. All the bits and pieces are printed as I would have expected them to do. And I can see right now from this moment, the quality is beautiful. That is a wonderful resin. Looks absolutely perfect. I'm really looking forward to getting this off the bill plate, getting it cleaned up and having a look at it. 
So it's had about five minutes in my Hay Gears curing station. This is my favourite curing station ever. It's got a door on the front. Absolutely marvellous. And after the curing, let's have a quick look at it. Now, I've blue tacked it together. It's not glued. Just to have a look at it. And wow, look at the detail in that. That is absolutely gorgeous. It's clear. It's crisp. It's smooth. It's beautiful. Um, yes, there is one support that I have left in place. See if you can spot it. But I've done no post prep work on this. This is literally out the printer, washed off and then cured. And it is beautiful and smooth. It's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful resin i'd say this is probably in my top five resins of all time uh yeah can't fault it can't fault it at all i've used a number of resins over the years and you know some of them just stand out this is definitely one of those the abs from elegoo has stood out to me as being beautiful and perfect and a wonderful resin that i shall most definitely use again absolutely gorgeous and the last offering today is the 8K White Smoke Water Washable Resin. Let's get it into the GK2. Now, this one was a little bit more uh, runny in nature, more like milk than thick resin. No real aroma, and it certainly was runnier, though, than the last two we've used. Settings-wise, I'm going to be giving it 10 bottom layers at 30 seconds, and then a little bit of Googling around the internet has shown the best uh, exposure time of 1.7 seconds so that's the one I'm going to try with a one second rest and an eight second eight millimeter lift distance now this one came off the bill plate fine but it, it didn't want to come off the little spatula for for no real reason but it seems to have printed okay now I'm going to clean it into the detergent just to prove that the detergent will clean water washable as well and I've got to be honest it cleaned it absolutely beautifully no problems at all quite happy with how it cleaned in the detergent and under the microscope now and you can see that's beautiful 1.7 seconds on this resin seems to be the sweet spot everything looks really really lovely i'm happy with what i see there you can read everything there's no underexposure so let's give it something a little bit complicated to build we're going to use this again from couton sculpts this is the mission i think you call it but uh, it's quite a complicated full packed build plate and uh, let's see how the resin fares with this complicated build of course she's from the walking dead let's hope it's not the printing dead and there she is, all done. The first thing I did notice was I did have a print failure. She didn't print the sword. Now, that just be down to my orientation. Uh, but there was a couple of parts that had broken off. The part where she's holding the sword had broken off and also part of her hair. So I think this resin uh, is a little more brittle than the other two. However, the quality of the print certainly has come out wonderfully uh, without any problem in detail. And there she is. I've blue tacked her together just so you can have a look at the detail. But I think you'll agree with me. <laughs> the details there the smoothness is there it looks crisp it looks sharp yet yeah, there was a little bit of a break in her hair as you can see and the sword has not printed but overall the actual quality of the detail is is wonderful the elegu resin certainly do uh, give our results that we're after uh, dependent on your uses i would suggest would depend on the best one but if you want water washable i'd have absolutely no problems recommending this one so there we go greedy three dears three elegu resins used three models created my favorite of the three i think has been the abs purely because the quality of the model and the strength of the model has been there the water washable did a great job it was a little bit more brittle than the other two and the standard resin was absolutely fine as well and the strength was in there as well the star of the show for me though i have to say although these resins were wonderful was this detergent um this has done a brilliant brilliant job at cleaning each three of the resins and not only that i've actually cleaned my dirty old gk2 with it and it got the sticky residue of that resin straight off absolutely marvelous um i've also cleaned a couple of the bits of tools that i use and this stuff is is great now for the cost of it it's no more expensive than the ipa so I genuinely believe I'm going to be moving across to this to use based on the fact that it's non-flammable. If you've got an ultrasonic cleaner, then you can definitely use this in your ultrasonic cleaner as well with no flammable hazard there. Uh, disposal of it, treat as you would IPA. It should not go down your drain. Never pour it down your drain. You shouldn't pour any chemicals down your drain. What I'm going to do with this when I finish with it is just take it to my local refuse centre, just dispose of it there 
as I would. I'll probably solidify it first by leaving it in the sun to get all the resin out of it, uh, and then I'll do it the same as I do my IPA. The only difference with IPA is it does evaporate, whereas this stuff does not seem to. But uh, the cleaning pro the, the process with this has been wonderful. So definitely uh, a little star of the show there. The resins, absolutely wonderful. I, I'd have no problems using these resins to create my models. As I say, my favorite would be the ABS, based on it seemed to be a little bit stronger. Um, none of them were particularly weak. The water washable, a little bit more brittle. I had a couple of breakages on this quite complicated model, but certainly nothing to detract from them. I, I really do like these. Now, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen today. These have been sent to me. I haven't paid for them, but if these resins were no good, I would tell you that absolutely I would. I don't work on the fact that because something's sent to me, I'll give it a good review. I've never done that and I never will. So if you enjoy what you see today, Give us, uh, give us a subscribe, give us a like, give me a comment. Tell me, let me know what you thought about these resins. Have you used them? Have you had success? Have you had failures with them? Have you tried the detergent? If not, have a crack. I'll put a link in the description where you can get all of this from. I want to just say a big thank you to my Patreons for your support. If you want to join the Patreon, please uh, click the link below. You know where it is. It's down there below. And I'll see you next time on Greedy 3D.